Hey, welcome to Broken World Entertainment. The Ironheart Mark I armor suit image, official image, has dropped. Well, when I say official image, it's a concept art image. It's the one you may have seen on the t-shirt, but now we get a clear look at it. <laughs> Oh no. This oh. Oh my. I present to you. The Mark One. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Look at the state of it. <laughs> what if they shoot her in the face? <laughs> uh, if you remember, Iron Man's Mark I was a full suit of armor. Specifically, one of the first things they did in Iron Man when he was escaping from being held captive was they shot him in the face. What happens if they shoot her in the face? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> uh, but it gets better. <laughs> because we've got the actual images behind the scenes. From, I believe this is from the show. We're getting introduced to her in Wakanda forever. But then she's getting her own show. But... Look at the behind the scene images as well. Oh my god, does this look terrible? <laughs> oh. So, for anyone wondering who exactly Ironheart is, well, Ironheart is a Japanese porno. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait, we're talking about the Marvel one. Right, yeah. <laughs> That's actually where they've got the name Ironheart from, and the idea of the female Iron Man. And I'm not kidding. They took it from a Japanese porno called Ironheart. Whew. So, this character is named Riri Williams. And I'm sure once we start hearing the actress and stuff complain about racism stuff, because you know what's going to happen. I guess we'll get the caller Ree Ree Williams. Is she connected to Tony Stark in any way? No. So how does she have the iron suits? She stole it. She stole the technology. This character was introduced in the comics. She was a failed comic book run as they all are, that they keep pushing now. She was a failed character. She is not a likeable character. And the reason she becomes Ironheart is this, which you can see now. These panels. So she's in school and she says she wants to be a scientist. And the teacher... <laughs> The teacher responds saying, that's great. Good for you. Go for it. Like, you know, encouraging her. Well, this doesn't sit well with Riri. Who says, wait, what do you mean? No, the hell with this. You're meant to tell me what I can't be. And the teacher is like, you can be whatever you want to be. Put your mind to it, you know. Nope. She's not happy with this answer and demands that the teacher tells her what she can't be. And after pushing and pushing with the teacher, the teacher finally go, caves and says, fine, you'll never be Tony Stark. To which she's like, right, we'll see about that. D this isn't a hero's origin, this is a villain's origin. So she, she ends up stealing the tech. But this is why 
she wants to become Ironheart because she demanded that a teacher tell her she can't be Tony Stark. It's no wonder these characters have failed and now Kevin Feige keeps pushing them. No one wants them. But look at the state of the costume. Oh, and let's not forget this. Here's two of the main casts. We got a transgender, because why not? And we got a RuPaul drag queen winner, I believe. Yeah, not an actor. Drag queen. And they're just like, you're hired. This show is going to be great, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. An unlikable character. A failed character. A failed comic book run. Let's hire a transgender for the sole reason of ticking that box. And a cross-dresser. Drag queen. Because why not? Let's push our not-so-secret gay agenda. And by the way, let's hire this girl to play Riri Williams, who must be about five foot one. <laughs> Put her in this shit. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a glorious disaster. And of course, we know all the buzzwords are coming. Oh, misogyny and racism. And, oh, it's going to be glorious. All right. I'll leave it there for this one. Cheers, I'll catch you in the next.